Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another brand new release. 1819 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball 12 box. Pick your team, number one, from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it on a Wednesday. Patrick K, you're a wizard, Patrick. Last spot mojo star next to his name. And here is the fresh case right here. The hoops. And I know that Pick Your Team 2 had sold out of this as well. If you look at the schedule in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching live, um, you'll see when that's going to go off. All right. We've got... Luka Doncic on the front right here. 20 packs per box, 4 cards per pack. 1 autograph per box on average. Are there hot boxes in this this year? Not sure if there are, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Good luck, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. We got hoops on the TV right now. Looks like uh, the ESPN pregame show. I don't know what, what the ESPN game is tonight. How did the Pelicans fail in trying to keep Anthony Davis? They really, I, th I think they should have, they should have tried to keep DeMarcus Cousins. Box one, Jeremy. I think that would have been you know, they, they should have tried to keep him. I feel like they have a decent team, right? Drew Holiday, Miritich, Julius Randle was a good signing, I think. Obviously, Anthony Davis on that team. And if you had DeMarcus Cousins there, I feel like that's a, that's a playoff team, right? I mean, once you got to wait for DeMarcus Cousins to get healthy... But I think it would be harder for Anthony Davis to not sign an extension, I think. All right. Good luck, everyone. First box. Got a nice clean look here. There's Andre Drummond, blue, 20 out of 49. And our first autograph is Michael Bridges for the Suns. That'll be for Patrick N. Patrick with that rated rookie autograph that is 46 out of 49 got Bradley Beal to 99 we'll sleeve and top load all of those um, at a 199 Marcus Hall our shipping team will take care of that just in this kind of a long break so just in the interest of time we're gonna breeze by those unless it's like super low numbered or like a silver Doncic or something like that. Nice LeBron, or if it's LeBron James, out of 149 in his Lakers gear. Set those aside. Are, are we having issues with YouTube again?
Hmm. There's Avery Bradley to 79. Okay, everyone's having skipping issues. All right, well, I apologize, folks. I guess YouTube streaming has been having some issues. Jeremy33 saying, I hear LeBron parallels are the best investment in basketball. They could be. I mean, there's no, he doesn't have autographs. In, uh, his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. So guys like him and Ben Simmons, their parallels tend to be, uh, tend, to, tend to sell pretty well on a secondary market. Looks like people are having some uh, stream issues, but the recording should not have any of those issues. So we'll we'll try to work through this. Mr. Mike Saddy, hello. I think John has having problems. Patrick K, TJ, and Rich. If it's just our stream or whatever server we're on having an issue, smooth on Jeremy 33's end now. He says, "All right, well, we'll just have to we'll just have to live with it, folks. T we'll have to tough it out." Thanks, everybody. There's Giannis Antetokounmpo to 149, and Westbrook to 99. There's Eric Bledsoe to 199. And Mo Wagner, rated rookie autograph for Tom Richard and the Lakers. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll we'll blame the polar vortex for YouTube's troubles. Come on, polar vortex. We got Dwayne Dedman to 99. Andrew Wiggins Hart. Andrew Wiggins actually been playing a lot better as of late. There's Joe Ingles at a 99. All clear for takeoff. And there's Buddy Heald, Silver. Obviously, the silver parallels of those big, uh, those big rookies are the ones that people want to see. Wait, do they call them silver? Is it's Prism that's silver, right? And then I think in uh, in Donner's optic, they call them hollow. Can't keep track. Yeah, they're called hollow, the refractors. So the hollow parallels of like a rated rookie Luka Doncic hollow would be, would be like the big one. I remember when this came out when Ben Simmons rookie year. Those hollow cards were selling for like a zillion dollars. All the parallels too, because his autographs exclusive to Upper Deck as well. So maybe we'll find something like that in this. But Duke is asking, do you think Anthony Davis will be a Laker? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'd like him to be a Laker. You know what I mean? I'd like him to be a Laker, but... 
they'd have, I mean, it depends on how aggressively the Lakers want to pursue him. If the, if the Lakers let Anthony Davis get to July, when then where the when the because uh, at that point the Celtics can come into play, then uh, then I think the Lakers lose their window. And now past experience for for the Lakers organization has seen Kawhi Leonard go to Toronto, and he might stay in Toronto. Paul George was traded to OKC. They were going to wait for him in free agency, but all of a sudden, Paul George stays in Oklahoma City. So, do they want to run that risk with? Uh, do they want to run that risk with Anthony Davis for another time? I don't. I don't think they want to. They want that this time. Here's Patrick Beverly to one ninety nine. So we'll see. And there's Grayson Allen by the power of Grayskull. Rated rookie autograph for Lou and the Jazz. There you go, Lou. 25 out of 49. We'll save that Lonnie Walker. I know he's been a slightly rising star for the Spurs. Nice hollow. There's Zaire Smith, rated rookie red to 99. Jeremy 33, skeptical of uh, Brandon Ingram. I just don't think he plays well with LeBron James. I think on his own, I think he could be he could be a force. His upside's Kevin Durant, right? There's Dante Z, uh, DiVincenzo to 199. It'll be interesting to see how Brandon Ingram does. And he could be a centerpiece for a team, I think. But he holds holds the ball a little too long out of 149, especially when LeBron's on the court. If you look at their like their numbers together and not together, like court court efficiency and all that. LeBron and Kuzma play very well together, but I think, uh, you know, if the Lakers want to get uh, Anthony Davis, Kuzma would probably have to go. Lonzo would probably have to go. Brandon Ingram would probably have to go. And a pick. Which kind of kind of guts the Lakers, but I guess... I, I wonder if the Lakers would try to ask for someone else back. Anthony Davis Ant plus, like, a, an expiring contract or something like that. I think Drew Holiday's contract might be. Maybe they get Drew Holiday back. You know, have him in the backcourt. Something like that. Zubach might be gone, too. They might send Zubac over. Maybe, maybe the Lakers try to keep Kuzma and send Zubac out there instead, among others. Jeremy thirty three saying LeBron situation makes me appreciate what Scottie Pippen did even more. What did Scottie Pippen do? Like be a, like a complimentary piece. Nice orange Luka Doncic. That goes to Ken Goldberg and the Mavs. One sixty three out of one ninety nine. What does that go for in the secondary market? EA saying Lonzo said he would like to go to the Chicago or the Knicks. More Luca. New Orleans Noel to 99. 
And your autograph is Omari Spellman. I feel like uh, I feel like Lonzo Ball would fit nicely in with the team that kind of plays old a little bit of a old school basketball, right? You know, it's kind of a slow slower team. You can distribute the ball a lot more. <laughs> well, Jeremy thirty three, I'm 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 kind of wondering. It was kind of a vague statement. I'm kind of wondering what what you're kind of getting at with the Scottie Pippen thing. Like the fact that he did not force his way out. Is that what you're saying? Or the fact that he was a good complimentary piece to Jordan? Both of which I agree with. There's Spencer Dinwiddie to 149. Yeah, Lonzo to the Spurs, I think, is interesting, too. All right, so there's Dinwiddie Green and then Jermichael Green. Pink Velocity. Oh, right, so Jeremy's clarifying yes and yes. He was selfless and it worked. Yeah. It's true. Also helps to have one of the, like, the greatest basketball player ever. Frankie's saying, uh, saying the Lakers trade everyone plus two draft picks except for LeBron, Rondo, McGee, Chandler, and KCP for AD. Just do the Godfather offer. Plus two picks? You think it makes it harder to have the, the greatest basketball player? I'd stay too. I'd be like, yeah, I get to play every night with the greatest basketball player on the planet. We're going to win tons of championships. I'd do that in a heartbeat. Not many NBA stars want to play with LeBron James. Kyrie's a bad example because Kyrie apologized to LeBron James and said I was being a stubborn little brat. I think people do want to, I think players do want to play with LeBron James. Kyrie didn't know how good he had it. There's Javon Carter. 49 and Kobe signature series Kobe Bryant autograph little Laker Joe Mojo going to Tom Richard nice auto There's Denzel Valentine's Day out of 149. Likewise, Jeremy. You should come by more often. There's Hollow. Hollow, Jaron Jackson Jr. Should we just keep saving those Lucas as well? Patrick Beverly. For the Clippers to 199. Goran Dragic hollow. Zaire Smith, pink velocity to 79 for the Sixers. Donovan Mitchell. We'll save these two. They changed the design on the rookies inserts this year. DeAndre Ayton for the Suns. Next box. Jeremy's daughter likes the pink Velocity cards. They do look good. 
Bud was asking earlier, who do you think is better, DeRozan or uh, Kawhi Leonard? Kawhi Leonard. I think uh, Kawhi Leonard is much more of a, a, a complete player, I feel like. All right? So coming up after this will be more limited football. If you can see the schedule in the chat, you'll see that we're we're pretty much booked up all the way until about 9.15 Pacific. So we'll, we we'll really only have a couple hours to break um, after that. So get your, uh, get your break on the docket as soon as you can. Before we run out of time, we'll have to, and then we start have to start having to push breaks until tomorrow. But so far, we got time to squeeze in some more breaks after all that in the uh, schedule. I think Lakers are going to add another All Star. I, I think it all depends on what happens with with Anthony Davis. There's Kyle Lowry to one forty nine. Tracy McGrady, T Mac to ninety nine. There's Omari Spellman. Yeah, I don't know what the. I mean, it, it it's kind of hard to speculate. There's Kevin Love to one ninety nine. What the Lakers are going to do? Because I think the linchpin, it all hangs on what happened with Anthony Davis. There's a nice Gary Trent Jr. rated rookie autograph for. John Samuelson and the Trailblazers. So, well, yeah, that I guess that's I agree with you, Jeremy. Seems like to be more hype about the player moving than actual players actually moving. All right, so we'll see. But the trading deadline's coming up soon, so we'll we'll figure it out once and for all at some point. But if the Lakers move all those players. You know, then then they have a depth issue all of a sudden, so they're gonna have to fill in players as well. It's gonna be kind of a weird, weird time. Yeah, we might be able to. I, I'm surprised we added that series one to the site. We traditionally haven't done series one as group breaks, so we can try to squeeze that in tonight. You're welcome, Stephen K. That was a nice hit. There's Boogie Cousins to 79. And there's Kyle Kuzma. He might be gone. UFC has changed the game? How do you mean? In relation to basketball? All right. Cruising along, folks. We're already halfway through. UFC and media hype? Or are you suggesting that, that, that UFC, UFC has paved the way for all this media hype? I think in general that's happening with everything. And I think uh, there's so much, so much uh, NBA social media that, that you know people like ESPN and Fox Sports and all the – everyone loves all that Twitter and Instagram back and forth and – a lot of social media personalities, so it becomes like daily sports op sports uh, soap opera. <laughs> Mothro saying, "It's so cold here; he feels like he's on hot." And Empire Strikes Back. That's pretty cold. Have your tauntauns uh, adapted to the snow yet? Otherwise, it'll. Uh, Otherwise, you know, you'll freeze to death before you reach the first marker.
Might have to cut open your Tauntaun with the lightsaber, just to get inside there for warmth. There's Jonas Valid Shunas to 199. There's the rookies Luka Doncic, just a regular one. I'm sure the parallels like the hollow will go for a lot. There's Dwayne Dedman to 149. And the autograph is for the Suns. Rated rookie on card auto Elia Kobu for Patrick and the Phoenix Suns. Bud, Bud saying, yeah, Black Mamba. You, Bud, you might be lagging behind a little bit. We pulled that a few minutes ago. Gilo wants me to open a pack in slow motion to see how I do it. People have said I open packs, like, unconventionally. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. Jacob Evans the third, green to 149. Oh, sorry, cards unboxed. I, mi I missed your question. Oh, he was answering your question. Sorry, bud. All right, Gilo, watch carefully. Should I do a how to open a pack the Joe Jaspi way? First of all, you'll, you'll always notice, right? You'll always notice that I keep the lip of the pack this way, right? So I grab the sides right here so I don't mess up the corners, right? And you can always see that I hold the cards like this too. So I'm not holding the cards flat. I hold the cards like that, even when the pack is stack of cards are in my hand like this. So I, so you, you grab the lip, the top corner right there, and then I use my entire hand to open up the pack like this, again, Trying not to mess with the corners as much as possible. And out the cards come. Bam. So if I do it this way, then I can just stack the cards just like that too. So it's easier to stack. See? So I'm always holding it like this. Bam. Well, yeah, that's why the top part is always the toughest. And I, you, you can sometimes you'll hear me complain about like how what kind of glue they're using for the for the wax. Right, and they're not wax anymore, but but um, if it's a strong pack, then you could rip a lot more easily. Sometimes they, they skimp on the pack quality and then it just falls apart in your hands. So it becomes kind of tough. But the tough part is, is kind of going from there and doing all that. And then when you've opened thousands of packs, <laughs> you'll eventually get a good rhythm there as well. But it's uh, it's firm but delicate. You can't just can't just tear at it. There you go. Pack ripping one oh one. Michael G uses his machete. Nothing but precision. What's the easiest packs to open? They do a pretty good job with Donner's Optic, actually. There's Jeff Teague to 99. Um, remember that Dominion basketball we did? That that had some really good uh, that had some really good material. <laughs> it's the little things for me, folks. When you're doing breaks, those things start to matter. There's Kyle Lowry to 49.
Uh, Bowman actually opens nicely too. There's Zach Collins to 149. Nice. There's a hollow Luka Doncic, the rookie's card. There's Goran Dragic to 199. And so I always hold the cards like this too. So I'm trying not to touch as much of the corners as possible. So that's a little bit different from the base one there. And so I'm sure that one carries a lot more value. And Kyrie Thomas is your signature series autograph for Detroit. It goes to John Samuelson. Yeah, I don't know why other breakers use uh, use knives. I feel like there's a lot a lot of room for error. <laughs> Whether you cut the card or your hand. I don't want to do that. My hands are pretty important. Reggie, what's going on? Um, I don't. I mean, I buy boxes of cards every once in a while just for fun, but I don't seriously collect anymore. I get to see, I'm lucky enough to see this stuff every day, so that kind of scratches that itch. I feel like if I didn't do this job, uh, I would I would be just like you guys, <laughs> you know, spending money on breaks and everything. Oh, Mr. Mike's Daddy, Chris remembers a time last year, Illusions. I was getting mad at Illusions because the packs are hard to open. Yeah, you can tell when they when, when they, you know, use too much glue or too use too little glue on these packs, and if they skimp on the material. Now, Optic is actually pretty, pretty smooth to open. Right, just like I was gonna say, if I was you, I couldn't collect because of all the money I see going into it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's either gonna be this or something. Some people spend spend money collecting Wizard of Oz collectible plates. Some people spend money on expensive golf clubs. We crack cocaine, meth. Some people spend money on putting a spoiler on a Honda Civic, a mid '90s Honda Civic. You're gonna do something. You know, stamps. Some people spend money on vintage books, first edition vintage books. Everyone's got a thing. This just happens to be ours, our thing. There's Mo Wagner to 99. Right, or that, no, the cardboard, right, you never know. Everyone has, everyone has a hobby. There's Dante DiVincenzo to 49. There's Clint Capella to 199. Is it Eric Wyant? It's a huge hobby out there in Missouri. There's Mitchell Robinson. 10 out of 10. Nice one for the Knicks. Jeremy, 33. Lou Brown's asking, how do you become a breaker? You go to breaker, you go to spend four years at breaking school? Breaker, Breakers University? They, they teach you all this. It's Christoph Porzingis. 149. And the redemption is Vincent Edwards, rated rookie signatures green. Why am I blanking on where Vincent Edwards goes? Rockets. That'll be for Sanford. There you go, Sanford, on the board. Stay warm. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, in all seriousness, Lou Brown, I think really it's just you just kind of stumble into it. I think everybody kind of stumbles and stumbles into it. If you can afford to buy, figure out a way to buy these cases at wholesale, mark them up to a retail cost, open them up live, ta-da, you're a case breaker now. You know, so it's very easy to get into if you have the means and the business sense. Um, but I think it's difficult to, in my opinion, it's difficult. It's easy to get into. It's difficult to do on a daily basis and, and be successful at it. So you can tell like, yeah, like Nola Cardboard saying you can see like some, you know, some kid on like Instagram trying to do these things. And then you'll see, uh, then you'll see some of the, you know, higher level breakers, you know, even operations that are bigger than ours. And you can see the, the difference in quality of not only the show, but um, the customer service, their business. Wait, was that a green auto? Is that a ding ding? Vincent Edwards, rated rookie signature, parallel checklist, green is out of five. Nice. Sanford. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There you are. Can't short you a train whistle. Hey, no worries, Sanford. No worries. Can't show you a train whistle, man. It's not good. All right, we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Almost there. Some nice stuff thus far. Nice Kyle Kuzma black velocity. Five out of thirty-nine. I hope. I hope the Lakers can figure out a way to get. Um, to get Anthony Davis without losing Kyle Kuzma. Four out of five, Jonas Valanciunas. And that is another train whistle. This time for John Samuelson and the Raptors. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Jason K, what's going on? Yes, you can still win spots in the Superb Owl Mixer and the Superb Owl Squares promo. If you look at the website, all the details are there on how to find those breaks. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. There's Justin Jackson to 199. <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. Yeah, I think I think building a community is pretty important for us where people can hang out with their friends and family and kids and whatnot. Nice gold Mitchell Robinson for Jeremy 33 and the New York Knicks. And that is 8 out of 10 on that autograph. There's Lonzo. There's Jerome Robinson Lime Green. You put the lime in the coconut. And Hamnu Diallo rated rookie hollow. Parallel. And that'll be for Vinny. Looking for autographs of Hamnu Diallo. Bud's asking, did that QB from Oklahoma declare for the NFL draft? He did. Declare for the NFL draft. I think the Oakland A's are probably still trying to convince him to go baseball. But um, but I think he did declare for the draft. Now, whether he 
fully goes through with it or not, that remains to be seen, but but yeah, that's that's I don't know what the, I don't know if there's any more recent news about him, but Davies asks you, do you think the Patriots can snag Kyler Murray? Maybe. They should have snagged Lamar Jackson with that. I know I know Sony Michelle has been pretty important, but I feel like they should have snagged Lamar Jackson when they had a shot. You don't think anyone will take him in the first round? Raiders might. <laughs> Raiders might do something silly like that. I don't think Kyler Murray would have declared for the NFL draft if he didn't get indications that he was going to get drafted in the first round. You know, I'm sure I'm sure his his representation kind of talked to people around the league and they said, "Yeah, he could probably go first round." If he doesn't go first round, I think he's going baseball. So he must have gotten some sort of signal that he was a first rounder. Paul George to 199 for OKC. Otto Porter Jr. Red to 99. Jason K says you don't think he's going to be a good QB? He'll get beat up? Well, you can't touch the quarterback anymore, so quarterbacks don't get beat up anymore. Right? There's Clay Thompson to 99. And is that John? It is John Stockton. Hall Dominator autograph. And that'll be for Lou and the Jazz. 34 out of 40. We had this one, Jeremy, 33. That was about it. 8 out of 10 on Mitchell Robinson. No, uh, I don't remember any, don't remember any magic. Save one of those Marvin Bagley's as well. No worries, Jeremy. Nice low number on that one. Save one of these Mo Bombas for you. There's Dirk Nowitzki, Lime Green, and Dennis Schroeder for OKC out of 39. Nice. So all of these will sleeve and top load before they go out, just in the interest of time. We're kind of breezing through these. Starbury. V. Mahaliuk, Kawhi Leonard. Might stay in Toronto, right? And there's Dame. Last box coming up. Nice, Lou. That's the one you wanted, the John Stockton. Excellent. Well, congrats. Um, but yes, they still do MJ autos, but Michael Jordan is exclusive to Upper Deck. So only Upper Deck products have Michael Jordan autographs. In fact, we're going to have a product tomorrow by Upper Deck. Um, you can see it on the site right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can pre-order now for a chance to chase those Michael Jordan autographs tomorrow. And Ben Simmons, also exclusive to Upper Deck. And LeBron James, also exclusive to Upper Deck. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. All right, last box. Good luck. Here is the schedule in the chat so you know what's coming up. Are we on schedule? I think so. I think I might have missed time that uh, we're ahead of schedule. I think this, this actually, this break actually went a little bit faster than I thought it would. Nice, Jeremy. Good luck. That'll be a fun one to do tomorrow. V saying Ben Simmons needs to get his butt down to Panini. He doesn't quite belong in that genre of place. Well, it's not by genre. It's just, it's 
just a business decision they made. They're like, we're going to sign you. And that's it. They gave him the most money. He said, okay. <laughs> There's D'Lo to 199. See, there, that's the regular version of the rookies. Doncic. I must have missed your question, Mr. Mike's Daddy. What was your question? Sorry. I was in the middle of uh, a break. Draymond Green, Lime Green. Green, green, out of 149. Nice, pink velocity, Luka Doncic. That is strong. That's another one for Ken Goldberg. Eight out of 79. That is strong. A lot of nice parallels here, Ken. Even without a Doncic auto, a lot of those parallels could probably make up for the uh, spot. How much would the math? Probably like a million dollars. Um, I don't know. They're, they're probably easily the most expensive team in this case break, though. Have I seen Westbrook autographs? No. I mean, yes, in like higher end sets, but Westbrook rarely signs. All right, there's Michael Green, and the redemption is... Boop. Kevin Knox, rated rookie signatures hollow for Jeremy33. And that is a nice one for you, Jeremy. And there you have it. I'll find the, I just don't, I don't know if the price off the top of my head. I'll, I'll look it up after this video, which is done now. Thanks everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was a full case. Pick your team number one of 1819 Panini Donner's Optic Basketball. Brand new release. We've got more in the store. Check it out. Grab your teams and we'll break some more and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.